Today we're building a beach pond filled with rare sea creatures caught inside beach rocks. You guys know where we are today. We're back at the inlet bridge where we literally can catch just about anything. From eels to sharks to beautiful aquarium fish to invertebrates, we've literally caught octopus here, you name it. Everything swims in this exact location. So we thought it'd be a super cool idea to fill this beach pond right here with the craziest sea creatures we can find today. Let's do it. Now the number one thing we want to add inside of our pool pond is a moray eel. The fiercest predator that swims inside of these rocks is that moray eel and we're going to catch them today with the help of this fish trap here. So in order to do that, we got to bait it up. Got that trap all baited up with that stinky, stinky, stinky and now let's get it in the water. First step to any pond, obviously you got to have it set up. You got to have a good location right in the sun so you guys can see everything going on in there and then you just got to add some water to it. So then we'll add a couple rocks to give it some structure for the fish. Who knows? Maybe we'll get some crabs, some small fish, maybe even an epic eel that we can put in our saltwater tide pool aquarium. I am super pumped. Let's get into it. Let's start catching fish and getting our pond set up. Get the rod. Get the rod. He's huge, bro. What is that? That is a weird eel, dude. That is a different kind of eel. His head is right here, guys. There is like a weird looking all white slash silver big eel right here. I, every time we come here, we see a different eel. I, I only thought there was green moray eels and chain link eels here. We're gonna go with the hand line 5000, Chris. This is the method I came up with. You don't have to worry about a fishing rod. 60 pound line with a big hook. Holy sh He's like four feet. He's huge, bro. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to do this, dude. This thing is huge. This, look how big he is. He's massive. It's the biggest one I've ever seen. Oh my God, Brooke, right here, right here. Chris, right here, right here, Chris. He's got it. I got him. He's so big, dude. I'm gonna have to jump in there with my yeah, shoes on. No, I have him. Look at him. He's trying to get out. It's this rock right here is screwing us. All right, here I go. Wait, wait. He's in the hole here. Hit. Got him. Holy no, shit. take him to the trap. Take him to the trap. It's it. Okay, got it. Oh my God. Put on the ground. What the hell, dude? That's not a Jackie, Jack. Put him on the ground. Put him on the ground. That is freaking giant, dude. That's a big green boy. That's dude, definitely that green. is not green. I don't know. Colorblind? The handline is is a, a game changer. It's been years of learning how to catch these things. Handline, 60 pound. Done. Dude, he's okay. got like a black fin and he's like gray. He's still got the hook. Guys, this is gonna be the last fish we add to the pond. So yes, we have him secured, but we're gonna keep him over there in the corner. But we gotta start adding some smaller fish and then we're gonna work our way up all the way to the eel. This so happened to be just the first fish that we caught here. These eels are crazy, man. Absolutely epic. Guys. In honor of the first fish, it has to be the smallest fish. Look at this little guy. Oh, this is a little baby Sergeant Major, the smallest you can get. He's gonna be our first little dude going in the pond. Check him out guys, he's just sitting right by my hand, just hanging out by my fingers. He hasn't seen the rocks yet, but look, he's just hanging out by my fingers. Let's, let, let's move my arm and see what he does. He likes to stay by my hand, ready? There he goes, buddy, let's go, look at him. It's our first fish in the pond. Look at that little tiny Sergeant Major. I want to catch a bunch of those guys to try to get them in there. First fish has got to be a microscopic fish. That's our first one, microscopic Sergeant Major. I got a fish. We're working our way up in the world, guys. We got a little baby yellow striped grunt right there. Working our way up the food chain. Started with the baby Sergeant Major. Now we're working our way up with the grunt. I think next on the agenda, we got to get a nice colorful wrasse. What do you think? Amen. Let's get this guy in. There he goes. See you later, buddy. Got another one. There's like a million of these guys over there. Look at this guy. Steven's buddy, Rick. Come on, let's get Rick in there. Come on, Rick. Look look at Steven right there, hanging on hanging the rocks. Let's get Rick in there and see what they do. There he goes, let's go. Two Sergeant Majors, look at him chilling. <laughs> dude, those, <laughs> those are guys sick. Are so cute. Those are sick, dude. I like those better, way better than this grunt here, dude. Not a fan of the grunt. I honestly like the baby Sergeant Majors. Those are my favorite. I think I need to go catch like a million. I'm on a hunt right now. Guys, I found the locale. Look at them all. Oh my God, yeah. You Look at them all. And I got this one. I want you to welcome, you know, we got Kate, Tim, Jonathan, you know, Delilah. They're all in here. Here we go. All the baby SMs. Let's go, baby. Those are the sickest things ever, dude. I love those things. That's absolutely epic, bro. I'm the baby fish Sergeant Major Whisperer. I don't know what Jack's doing over there, but I'm killing the Sergeant Majors. Guys, I caught a very strange sort of species here. I believe it is some sort of goby. We're gonna add it to the pond. I know there's more colorful ones down there, but this is a cool new species we're adding to the pond. All right, this guy's literally gonna perch up on the rock around the bottom. Oh, or straight into the middle. 
Let's go get some more fish. Just adding to my school, these are twins. They're uh, identical twins at birth, so let's just release them. Adding to the collection. I love the little fish, dude. Big Neon Tetra guy. Right? These are the Neon Tetras of the saltwater community. This is something you guys have never seen us catch before on the channel, because it's been literally like probably 10 years since I've caught one of these. This right here is a pinfish. Extremely good bait, extremely pretty, and they get their name because of these little side spikes going down the side there. Those things are literally like needles. They're so damn sharp, but they're super pretty. Blue and yellow stripes, silver, vibrant, amazing bait, pretty fish. Put them in the pond. I welcome you to all of your friends. There you go. He's a tweakazoid. He's a tweaker. He's a tweaker. I think he found his home. One after another slinging these. This is the same sort of species as the first fish that I caught, but he's bright red and green and yellow. I've never seen such a creature in my life before. What is this? Comment down below, what the heck is that? If you get a close up of those gills there, he's got like a rainbow dot. I don't know what this is, but he's going in. That is so bad to the bone right there. All right, buddy, here he goes. Ooh, he's, he's so damn cool, bro. I want to take him home. I love him. Take a look at how crystal clear this water is. I feel like I'm in the Bahamas. I don't even feel like I'm here in Florida. This water is literally insane. And I can see these colorful fish darting around like crazy. And I'm going to see if I can pull one up here, right here, right now. I want to rasp. It is impossible to hold these. I'm putting them right here. Guys, I've been trying to catch this fish the whole time. If you look at how fat he is, he's been robbing my shrimp day in and day out and today i finally caught him i can't pick him up because he's slipperier than a wiener <laughs> pick him up look at that beaut rainbow colors for the mini saltwater pond let's go baby we're gonna put him right by the gopro in the corner here big boy big fish time big fish time Woo! he's got a remora he's oh got a remora God. double catch two and one two birds one stone there goes oh, the remora the remora fell off look how cute oh no Huge baby Remora fan, guys. He is just so small, so tiny, dude, just chilling in the pond with the other fish right there. Look at that little dude, such a tiny little Remora. Usually they're on big sharks and stuff like that, but they're on a little tiny needlefish. Kind of crazy. The second he hit the water. We're literally building our natural ecosystem as we speak. Got the Remora. I hate right to break it to you, but if we let the needlefish go, his boy Gustavo has to go with him. Yep, I agree. I, I'm not gonna break a friendship. That's not the guy I am. Just caught this beauty right here. I believe it's a schoolmaster snapper or a dog snapper, one of the two. Technically, you cannot put him inside this pond because he's not of size. And as soon as you put him in your bucket, you're taking possession of that fish according to the law. At least I'm about 85% sure. So this guy, we're gonna buy by the laws and we're gonna throw this guy back home. But he sure is cute. Bye-bye. I'm jelly fishing. Guys, I got a jellyfish here. Look at him, he's adorable. It's a gooey, it's the jello of the ocean, all right? We're gonna add them to our pond, which is not gonna be the jello to our pond, baby. Let's go. What's a pond without a jellyfish? What, right? yeah, seriously. What's a pond without a jelly? There he is. Jelly! I think we've got just about everything. It's time for the grand finale, ladies and gents. We started with our baby sergeant majors, then we got a grunt, then Jack caught some very weird looking stonefish, then a wrasse. A big needle fish with a baby remora on it, and I think now's the time. We got a good, like, little small to big food chain going. I think we gotta put the- Jelly! Uh, oh, and the jellyfish. I think it's now time to put the eel that we caught in the pond. Let's do it. The giant eel, look at him, he's fighting the net. He's, dude, he's pissed, He's bro. actually, I've never seen an eel fight back like this. Dude, that is not a green mortar eel. That is a weird kind of eel. Here we go. Here he comes. He's coming out your way. He's coming out your way. Here he's, there's our eel, baby. There he goes. Let's go. Dude, he is a unit. He's a unit, dude. He's an absolute unit. He's so big, guys. Let's go. That eel completes the pond right there. The top predator of the pond of these rocks right here is going to be that Mora eel. We did it all the way from the small fish up to the big boy eel. And this guy is literally the biggest eel that we've caught in these rocks ever. And he's definitely by far the meanest. Now that our pond is complete, we got the full force of the pond, the eels, 
all the fish. It is time to now release them. We made an epic little pond here, but now it's time to let him go. Watch out, Brooke, he's a very mean eel. Got him, got him on. Go on, swim off. See you later, dude. Look at him. That's a so sick good. eel, dude. That is not a green moray, bro. That's something else. Look at him. Darting down to the left, straight into the rock. That's literally where we got him. Right there. Oh, that is sick epic. Eel. I'm not letting them go unless they go together. Hold on tight. There you go. No! Chris, you're gonna have to net them. Yep, and we're gonna have to go separate here. We want to release them together. Gustavo so. and Philip. Yes! 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 What? We did it. The remora is right under his belly. Let's go, baby. Good job, Jack. <laughs> Here goes our jelly. Whee! See you later, dude. Let's get our rocks back in there. Ben and Jerry, I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you for your time. Beautiful Sergeant Major's got the whole fam right there. See you guys later. All right, Mr. Pinkfish. See you later. I have a broken fingers. <laughs> Our beautiful Ras cotton candy. Spumoni, how you doing? See you later. Last but not least, the yellow stripe grunt, an absolute staple. Goodbye. That's gonna do it for today's video, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy. I wanna remind you guys that this month, our goal is to remove 100 pounds of ocean trash. With your help, we can make it happen. Head over to the site, fishguy.shop. Every single item we sell removes trash from the ocean. 100 pounds this month. Let's do it as a Fish Guy community. You and me, and Chris, and Brooke. We're gonna do it. We're going for the top. We'll catch you all in that next video. Peace out. Peace out.